Hello and welcome to my dance studio and video channel film from the heart of Perigal, West Wales. My name is Jessica Scarlett May. I'm a fellow and lifetime member of the British Association of Teachers of Dancing and a former ICD in Real Teachers School owner and scholarship nominee. Today we're going to have a look at the interval waltz created by Graham and Avril Watkins back in 2016. The dance moves equally as well as the engagement waltz and it's full of things that we dance above gold. So come and join me, let's have a look at the dance in more detail step by step. So I'm going to start this dance in ball and wall and that is maintained throughout. We're moving down to wall, our first variation is a travelling pontichet turn to promenade followed by a four way from promenade. So here we go, guys left foot forward, your travelling pontichet goes on the below, plenty of body turn on that step, lose it on step two and move down line of dance in promenade on step three. The man and the lady are going to dance a four way. We walk forward together inside leg, we, the man steps aside along with his partner and she will keep on his right hand hip as we end in four way moving down line of dance. We dance another step in four way as the lady moves around the man and he will end facing down the centre for a type of open turn. So the lady's going to step back from this point as you step forward for one walk and a quick open reverse. So with your part of your right hand side, she's going to step back, you're going to step forward and you're going to do it one walk into a quick open reverse, moving down the line of dance. Now the next thing is a throwaway over sway. So step back down the line of dance, step to side, Sit the lady on that leg as she points the other leg back and the look towards the gents. Now you're going to recover out of this movement into a uh, hover into promenade. Now you've got to keep the thing all compressed otherwise the lady can't get the walk necessary and both of you will brush before stepping to side in promenade. Now that's going to lead us into a four grip run. Remember she's in promenade, we're going to turn the lady to the left and she will end back at the end of this figure. So you walk in promenade, do a four quick run, moving diagonal to wall, where she's set outside partner for one to three of a natural turn. So we'll do that to back line of dance, ready for the next variation. Now the next variation is a a chasse roll. It feels like a typical chasse with a pivoting action and that's basically what it is but the footwork is different at the end. So we're stepping left foot back bringing the lady forward as she sits as you step back gents. Dance a walk side and close allowing the lady to move around you as you step down line of dance and do this type of pivoting action to end back in down to centre. You're going to do um, three walks back as the lady dance is basically a feather step. So you're stepping left foot back, lady in line, and she then walks outside partner for two steps following that. Now the man's going to step right foot back into a left whisk. Now the left whisk is no sway. But this is a leading to four, five, and six of an actual twist turning tango. So you're going to stand stationary, but turn between the feet, between the toe of the right foot and heel of the left. And she's going to run round you, heel, that's a strong step, heel, toe, toe, toe. One, two, and three, making a three quarters of a turn to right. Now the lady sets past you for a hover. You're stepping left foot back underneath your body gents, down to wall gains. She will move forward, you both will get a brush step in and you're both ending from an arm. Now that's going to lead us towards the end of the dance now, which is a right foot lock step. So she's in promenade, 
She's moving to close hold during that lock step and you think finishing with one to three of a reverse turn with a crossing action from close hold one two three back in line of dance four five six of a normal reverse turn to complete the dance facing down to wall ready to start the dance again if you like these walkthroughs and the proving complementary to working with your current teacher why not hit those like, subscribe and notification bells? Indeed, I've got another 142 of these online right now and it's your choice if you take leader or follower. So we're going to dance this dance again, moving away from the camera. So how do we dance it? We dance it in boring hold throughout. What is it called? It's called the interval waltz. So we're going to move away from the camera this time we're starting with a travelling contra check, which ends in promenade, moving down line of dance. So, start towards down to wall with your partner, and travelling contra check, long and low, take that shoulder lead off on step two, and move down line of dance to finish in promenade step three. So, we're going to dance a full way from promenade. So, we're stepping to your lead with a partner. Keep your partner on your right side and move down line of dance in fall way. You're going to have a continuous turn, an open turn, a step in fall way, right foot to side and side forward, and finish with a side shoulder leap, preparing to step outside partner for the next variation, which is a walk into a quick open reverse. So let's just do that then. We're going to dance a walk and quick over reverse, so your partner's stepping back as you step forward. Dance a quick over reverse, which moves down the line of dance into a throwaway over sway. Okay, so she steps on that leg, she's pointing her left leg behind her and she's looking towards it, and you're looking towards the lady's brow. So you've got to keep this to be a long and deep. Don't rise too early, otherwise she won't be able to step forward heel to toe. You will both step for a brushing action and you are both ending from an arm. So this leads to a four quick run. One, two and three. She's in from an arm at the moment. She's going to turn within your arms over the four steps. So down to walk, in from an arm, and two and three. Moving down to walk. It's going to lead into one to three of the natural turn, stepping outside partner. So that's what you're going to do. And you will back line of dance. So that's going to take you into a chasse roll. So it feels like a typical chasse. It has a type of pivoting action, alternative footwork, of course. And it will get you to back diagonal to center so here we go guys left foot back lady in line with the man walk side close step that's between the feet and it's gone down you're going to step back gents for three backward walks so lady's going to dance a feather the lady will walk in line for the first step the first step outside partner and finish outside partner over one two three now you're going to dance a left twist without sway. It means you can run around here at this point into four, five, and six of an actual twist turn. One, two, and three. Heel, heel, toe, toe, toe. As you turn between the toe of the right foot and heel of the left. You've made three quarters of a turn to right there, ready to leave the lady outside partner for a hover to promenade. So you're going to move in diagonal to wall again, sign of dance, stepping left foot back, hover, brush, turn to promenade, you're finishing with a right foot lock step, which brings it from promenade to close hold, and we then finish with a one to three in reverse turn with a crossing action, which we see common place in sequence, and back in line of dance, Four, five, six, the reverse turn, which completes the dance, puts us back in a starting position, facing diagonal to wall. If you like these walkthroughs, 
Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification bells. You know what I want to say. My name is Jessica Scarlett Bay. Come and join me in West Wales if you want to have some lessons. I want you to put your best foot forward, see me soon and most importantly keep dancing. Thank you very much and bye bye for now.